But one way we haven't caught them is slow trolling live baits around. You're using speedos and you're basically just bumping them around, slow trolling them around the edge of the reef, high spots, waiting for these bites. Oh, the other thing is you gotta be careful putting them out. They do like to swim back at the propeller. Underneath the boat. I'm imagining you get bit and they don't stick all the time. Oh, no, you miss guys, a lot of them. Lot of and them, you yeah. think, oh, I got three hooks in there. I can't it, miss anything. It, Slow trolling these speedos, aka red-tailed scad. And what you're waiting for is these wahoo or kingfish, whatever's there, to basically come up in this zone. Fish on there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. Lock it up. Uh, little dolphin. Ma little mahi. Nice mahi. That's what's so fun about this, you know? You, you're wahoo fishing, but you catch kingfish, sailfish, dolphin. Little bull. Little bull? Tiny little bull, he's cool. That's all he had, too. Well, he could grab him. Nice work, dude. All right. Look at that, a little bull. Mahi, mahi. Yeah. It's a start. Hey, that's a great way to warm up. We haven't been fishing for 10 minutes. So Rush's wire rig for catching these fish on bait has almost a 100% success rate in hooking yourself in the hand. Can we get those hooks out of him for you? Sure, just, uh, he's probably gonna go crazy, so yeah, I'm no, just gonna watch my I hands here. on it? Yeah, you just do you. It is a gnarly rig. I don't even wanna get my hand near that. And all the guys know, I don't like to get my hands cut. I don't like hooks. It's only gonna hurt for a second. And that hook's really close to my hand too. I don't like any of that stuff. I got keyboard hands and I'm trying to keep them that way. I'm gonna let this guy go. Let him grow up to be 40 pounds one day. Yes, sir. Oh, take him about a month. <laughs> When we're walking these baits around, we're going slow, literally walking speed, pulling them around at one and a half to two and a half knots, and just trying to cover a little ground while you're keeping the baits alive by kind of force feeding them water going that slow. Doesn't feel very substantial. At this point, I'm just happy to see a bite. The reason I like doing this, you're targeting wahoos primarily, but you can catch anything. See brown, oh, it's a trigger fish. That was a trigger fish oh that ate. Oh my God, look at the size of that, that dude. That was a trigger fish that ate that bait. Uh, you can't even move him. He's <laughs> <laughs> like a dinner plate. No, he looked like a Dorado, didn't he? Like a brown Dorado. There's no species that's here in the Keys that's not gonna come up and eat a Speedo. <laughs> there you go. Look at the size of that thing. How much ceviche do you think you can get out of that? I don't want to know. It's nasty. <laughs> Look at that thing. I can't believe that ate that Speedo. Um, this guy looks like he doesn't answer to anybody. Look at the trigger on him. He's all, he's had some better days. A little treble got, treble got him right in the top of the mouth, huh? That trigger just kicked your ass. Dude. Is that the bait only? No, I'm bit. Don't go let me in too long. You gotta lock up and reel immediately. The internet, Instagram, Facebook's kind of skewed our perspective of fishing, right? We say it all the time at home. Nobody ever posts when they strike out. Oh yeah, that's, that was your boy. Yeah. What happened here, Captain Russ? <laughs> See that clean cut? I think I had a nibble. Like everybody catches a Wahoo, man, they want it on the front page of the paper. Strike out for three days in a row, Eh, not so quick to talk about that. Nah, that ain't him. He's starting to smoke now. Well, no. Oh, you got the clicker off. Oh, I took it off, yeah. Okay, he, but, he's he, but he's not taking line. No, he took a good run nah, and stopped. Nah, not him. Cooter. Cooter. Shoot. Going into this, my confidence level this day was as high as it could possibly get. It's this one. A kingfish or something? I don't know, it's not doing anything. I had bait ready to go. Everything was pretty much there for the taking. Well, one mahi, one Long trigger fish. has teeth, huh? Yeah, we're getting closer. Hey. Let's get rid of that, dude. Come on, back to Wahoo Town. Just like any kind of fishing, you can make a plan, you can work your plan. You know, if you're a good fisherman and you know what you're doing, more times than not, it works out. 
not the case here. That's no, there's it. something on here, Rush. It's not the bait. Coming up to the top. Yeah, now it's swimming. One reason or another, it just wasn't my day. Big king. Is it a king? I think it is, yeah. God, he choked on it, huh? Yeah, he must have got all the hooks buttoned him up. At least we're starting to see the right cast of characters. Sailfish, kings, triggerfish. That triggerfish is honestly the most impressive thing we've done today. Don't downplay that triggerfish. It's just the case some days. That, that's part of fishing. There oh. you go. Big old king. Fishing is the greatest thing in the world sometimes and other times it's the most frustrating thing in the world. That's a nice king. It's not a wahoo. Not a wahoo, not hey, yet.